so my video editor ben has moved to austin to help me grow my youtube channel i can't really pay him very much right now because my channel only has 10,000 subscribers it's just not that good we have never got that serious about titles and thumbnails and strategy and all of that ben is a cool guy but he doesn't even really understand that much about the youtube algorithm and i don't think he really appreciates the gravity of the decision he's made to literally move to Austin. If he can't get better at editing my videos and growing my channel faster, I'm never gonna be able to pay him and he's gonna be homeless, like literally. I've invited him over my house today to try to communicate to him the gravity of what's at stake and to really motivate him because we have to get serious about this. Right now we only have 10,000 subscribers. If he can double that to 20,000 subscribers in the next three months, I will give him $5,000 and I mean this, I really will. And if he can't, he's gonna be homeless and I'm gonna fucking kill him. No, it's because your fucking thumbnail game sucks, dude! All right, Ben, yes. you just got to Austin. Hey. Tell the audience, what's our game plan, dude? <laughs> that game plan is to grow the channel, grow the Justin Murphy brand, Other Life uh, podcast. We're gonna double subscribers in uh, three months. Is that the goal? <laughs> that's it, yeah, that's the goal, man. We're about to hit 10,000 subscribers at the moment. Basically, the channel sucks. <laughs> like, we, have, we, I've been posting so many videos forever, and the channel grows very slowly. I think I have like 500 videos at this point, so 10,000 subscribers is really not good. We've never really gotten serious about the thumbnail game, the the title game, or even just like the concept. Like, we just do, we just do whatever. At the moment, if I if I do nothing, then we add about 300 subscribers a month. That's just from the old videos that get a certain amount of views. Last year when we were doing stuff in Albuquerque and we were making a lot and getting traction, we got that up to like about 700 a month subscribers we were adding each month. So if we want to double the subscriber count from about 10,000 now to 20,000 by the time you graduate, that would mean we need to get about 3,000 new subscribers every month between now and May 15th. Do you really think you could do that? Easy. I have a feeling that it's gonna work. I mean, my life kind of depends on it. It's fine. But it's just where are you at with your life and where do you wanna be in like six months, 12 months? Okay, well, yeah, I'm here in Austin to uh, work for Justin Murphy as I finish my last semester of uh, my undergrad degree. I moved out here to Austin to sort of uh, he is a full-time assistant. I mean, that, that's the goal. So basically the way I've done this with Ben is all of my operations are growing and they are making more and more money, which is awesome. But I'm not making so much money that I can afford to pay like a full-time employee yet. But Ben is super keen on helping grow the operations and he wants to be a part of it. And I want to make him a part of it. So since he's just finishing university, he still has a few months left, about three months technically before he graduates. He doesn't really have the time or energy to work super hard for me, which is good because I don't have the money to pay him properly. So we came to an arrangement where basically Ben would come here uh, since he's remote now and doesn't have to be where his university is. He came here, pretty much his monthly obligations are still the same as they were when he was a university student. But he has taken a risk in coming here in that, you know, now he's in this big city and the only person he knows is me and, and our people really. And uh, the game plan is we're gonna basically put Ben on a test kind of trial basis and get him trying to grow the YouTube channel uh, by editing and posting videos. If he can hit certain targets, then we're gonna pay Ben properly. So between now and his graduation, while he's still a, a university student, I'm not gonna be paying him anything. But if he can hit the targets, then I'm gonna pay. So Ben, you think you can double the subscriber count in three months? Yes. Before, So before you graduate, you think you can get the 10,000 subscribers, which it's taken me five years to get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can get that to 10,000, you can get that to 20,000 in um, three months before you graduate. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of skeptical, honestly, but that would be amazing if you could do that. So if you could do that, I will straight up pay you $5,000, cold hard cash on the day that you graduate. If the subscriber count of my YouTube channel is 20,000 or above. I accept this challenge. I think what we should do now is we need to develop a serious strategy. And that means we need to start by taking a look at some of the metrics for the channel. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's, go, to the, let's go to the studio, shall let's we? Let's do it. Here is the channel dashboard. Let's do a current snapshot of the analytics on the channel right now. And then we'll do this video again when you graduate.
to review how the metrics have changed. Okay. Does that sound good? Yes. All right, so we currently have 9,941 subscribers, as you can see here. We go over here to analytics. You can see some bird's eye view metrics of the channel. We're currently making about 27 a month, which is peanuts, it's fucking bullshit. Uh, we get 46,000. These ones I think don't matter. They're like hard to remember or hard to track. To me, the things that are big are obviously subscribers. Mm -hmm. But then if you look over to this, this is really important. So you see the impressions click through rate? Yeah. This is what percentage of people click a thumbnail when they are showing it. Oh. It's one of the biggest and variables that's most important. It sucks, dude. Like 3.4%. Wow. Yeah. No, I don't think you're taking this seriously enough, dude. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm sorry. You seem like, no, seriously. <laughs> I don't know. Why are you laughing? <laughs> dude, do you think this is funny? No, I dude. don't. I'm sorry. I know. I have, I have a problem. What this means, an impressions click through rate of 3.4%. Yeah. Are you laughing? No, no, it was, I was sneezing. I'm getting a feeling you're not taking no, it seriously. No, I, I am, just, I'm sorry. Like an impressions click-through rate I, yeah. of 3.4% is pathetic. The average on YouTube is like five to 10. Okay. So okay. why is ours so low? Um, it's gonna change, I, I, I assure you it's gonna change. But it's why is it so low? Um, I think that my, my, my just, the thumbnail game hasn't been up to stuff. It hasn't been up to snow. No, it hasn't. No, no, no. No, it's because your fucking thumbnail game sucks, dude! Yeah, so like, look at this one, for mm -hmm. instance. When it first started, it was like going way past our average. And then, see, it, it dipped off. Mm -hmm. um, but if you look at um, the reach for this video, impression click-through rate was higher. At the beginning, it was like, at least healthy, like 6%. So, the, the reason this is so important is because it has like a multiplier effect. Like you can look at, look at this, 645,000 people get recommended my videos. Mm -hmm. Think about that, 640,000. That's mad people who see the word like Justin Murphy or other like, mm -hmm. or like one, or one of our thumbnails. Um, but when only 3% click through, then you only get 22,000 um, views. Okay. So if you can, if we can just double the click through rate, yeah. we can like that, we can double the number of views basically. These are the main metrics that I'm interested in. Basically, subscriber count. Mm -hmm. We currently have 10,000. We're trying to get to 20,000. Impression click-through rate, or average is currently 3.4%. I want to get that to, like, let's double. Let's yeah. double it in the next six months. Great. Um, then the other big thing, in my view, is engagement. Mm -hmm. um, the average view duration is up, which is good, but I think we could do even better than that. So. Yeah, let's get like the average view duration from 10 minutes mm -hmm. to like 15 minutes. We want to make videos that people just like can't look away from because mm -hmm. they're so interesting, you know? By the way, the one we did with the live in person yeah. podcast has really good uh, analytics. Like look, cool. so, so look, it had very high uh, engagement. The average person watched it for 18 minutes. Damn. Which is super long, yeah, for, the, for this channel. And I think in general. And look, it even shows you where people's attention gets lost. You should look at this after all of our videos mm -hmm. and learn what parts people like and what parts they don't like. So the continuous segments means this held people's attention really well. Okay. So if you click that, oh, nice. and then you can watch it. So this part, yeah. like people were glued to the screen. What was it? I said when I was 12 years old that like my seventh grade teacher didn't even get mad at me for Dude, it. Dude, notice by, notice by the way that retard is totally mainstream now. Wow, like, it's it's not, retard, it's not it's like, like, like yeah. they really, they really play base, base yeah. retard. Yeah, it's no longer ableist. And I also feel like everyone, there's also this, um, I feel like there's a, there's sort of a. Yeah, so this teaches you what our audience likes. Yeah. Apparently they like, <laughs> they, they like discussions of the word retard. But hey, look how long it held their attention. Uh, yeah, how um, long is it all together? Is that... That's like, um, well, th this is just giving you the data on like what was the most particularly engaging. Right so from 39 minutes, 44 seconds to 53. So yeah, that's like a long, so this is like a good What's example. right there? What's right there? Uh, yeah. So, uh, the word retard. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, so there you go. So, uh, and then it gives you dips, okay. which is the parts with that lost people's okay. attention, the which universe. is super, super like useful to see. This is There's always naturally one at the end. Once you start to, once it's sure. clear, like you're winding down, you yeah. lose people's attention, of course. So that's not that revealing, but you can see it in other ones. So it's, mm. it's really, really, um, good to pay attention to these analytics. 
the click through rate wasn't so bad for the for my channel like oh. it's pretty good um but again that's because you made a decent thumbnail yeah. um and i the think it's one. i think it's also just <laughs> yeah yeah it was um it was a little gay and yeah so but again i think we can do better we really yeah. want like between five and ten sure like okay. really five. all right so as another example let's look at the last video you edited so looking at the analytics on this video is going to give us some direct insight okay. into what you do well and what you don't do well. Great. All right. I'm ready to learn. So impressions click through rate is pretty good, but it changes over time. So the first thumbnail mm -hmm. was good. Uh, it had 6.6% 6 .6 roughly, but now this thumbnail, mm -hmm. dude, yeah. 1.4 impression click through rate. Yeah, it's a bad one. No, but it's, it's, it's clear, right? It's obvious why, right? Yeah. It's just like low contrast, yeah. not clear what's going on. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on. It's not interesting. We know because yeah. we were there. Yeah. So I think honestly, like you're a little too smart because mm -hmm. I understand there's like symbolism there and it's mm -hmm. cool. It makes sense to me because we were there, yeah. but you have to think about the average retard on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, our audience is, includes also very smart people, yes. but people who don't have any clue about what the video it sure. contains. Yeah. Like people literally just have no idea what that even is, what they're looking at, and it doesn't make them want to click. So that's why the click through rate is so low. But this is the other thing we need yeah. to work on is we need to get subscribers to turn on notifications um, because mm -hmm. that drives people. So for every video moving forward, it'll be like crazy interesting intro section, mm -hmm. cut to the other life insignia, mm -hmm. and then it's gonna be like me telling them to subscribe and click the bell Beautiful. so yeah. that you don't become homeless at when you graduate from <laughs> university. Thank you. Oh, right. And so let's look at this to learn from where the editing is bad. One thing is, so you always see this drop off in the, the beginning. Yeah, of course, um, uh, most people just want to see the first few seconds out of curiosity yeah. and, and people immediately drop off. So that's not that big a deal. Like the first five seconds are the most important mm -hmm. basically for the whole video. Sure. And I think the problem with this one is it's dark and yeah. you can't see anything. Yeah. So it's like people don't know what's going on. So like what, so look. Dude, you know how Alex Jones talked about how American politicians- Like the speech is kind of interesting, mm -hmm. but with the visual is just like dark black, you can't see what's going on. Yep. People are just gonna be like, fuck this. So I think what you what you should have done there is like use the establishing mm -hmm. shot with the audio, uh, with the with the voiceover. Oh, interesting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so instead of this like black audio, the yeah. black visual, mm -hmm. There should be like some clear, interesting thing that they can see, yeah. and then just put the audio over that or whatever. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, you can't see. Yeah, anything. very dark. So it is kind of. I see why you kept that in there because it is kind of funny and it's like a colorful little wrinkle yeah. in the in the plot. Yeah. But with the dark, with without being able to see anything, sure, people will just. So in the future, just cut that. Yep. Um, Got it. Like it should, like this problem this video probably could have been cut down to 20 minutes yeah and it would have been so chock full of like only good like really good stuff mm -hmm. you might just have to be like there might even be things that you personally think are kind of interesting mm -hmm. but you have to cut it to make it like efficient yep um let's look at the other dip oh right after your speech well, let's see Oh yeah, so it was right after. So I guess my little speech was was Fire. engaging. It was, yeah. it was rising, and then I guess it's natural that it would dip off after mm -hmm. that. But I did have I did have a thought on that, by the mm -hmm. way. Like, um, I kind of don't know why you were like going so far away from it. Yeah, you were like fucking around with it with like. Yeah, was, like, yeah, yeah. I guess you were trying to be creative. I, I don't know. Yeah, I thought it just suited the moment. Sending it to the heavens, to the basements. I just don't. I honestly don't. I want to be basically so fucking based, so into the music is good though. Books, like reading. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, that was just a mistake. That this is here. Yeah, I mean, the actual crane shot was kind of intentional. So something visually interesting. I mean, I mean, honestly, it is. It does kind of look cool. The only thing is that the microphone yeah. is attached to it. Yeah. So the farther you get, the farther the microphone gets. Well, that's why I boosted the, the volume of this this particular. Oh, you did? Okay. Okay. But yeah, no, I totally get what you're saying. I, I don't know, what, like you probably know what's best on certain things. So like, trust your instincts. Okay. I don't have strong, um, like I don't have any strong aesthetic preferences. Mm -hmm. All I care about is these numbers basically. Sure, yeah. So um, um, I'll work within those. But basically, I mean, the, the numbers say that this scene was good. For, so well done, so thank you. Thank, um, thank you. Uh, 
Yeah, so just remember, like, we basically want to just focus on this number because okay. it's bad and it's the easiest thing to fix. Yeah. And then we just need to make more videos that are, like, super, super interesting. Well, you know what, Justin? Maybe uh, the click-through rate is so low because you're just such a fucking ugly, blubbering idiot that no one wants to fucking look at. Are you fucking serious? I had All right, man, I think I we know what we got to do. Let's yeah, do it. I think so. Thank you. Yeah, for this very enlightening... Yeah, I think you might want to study up a little bit on yeah. how, how the algorithm works and all that. Yeah. Maybe read a few textbooks on, you know, psychology and video editing. Yeah. How are you feeling about everything? You feel pumped? Do you think uh, we can? Yeah. You think we can do it? Um. No. I. Think, yeah. I'm. I'm very confident. Um, you don't sound that confident. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's going to be great. I think I just need to. Yeah. Like you said, just read up and brush up on my um, YouTube marketing stuff. I think you can do it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And once we get to twenty thousand subscribers in three months, then we'll get to a hundred thousand by the end of the year. Yeah, no, that's very feasible. And then I'll be able to pay you legit. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, and then a million within two years. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's very realistic. Um, I'm really excited about this. Dude, I'm sorry I yelled at you a little bit. No, I got, I got a little carried away. No, no, it's great. Do you have anything you want to say to the audience watching right now? Uh, I mean, yeah, like whoever's listening, um, I would just really appreciate it if uh, you could subscribe to the, <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this uh, channel, and um, yeah, if you could just smash that uh, that bell to get notifications, I'd be you know eternally grateful. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. you know just keep me in your prayers. I'm I don't know. Be, yeah, I, I would just like to have a place to you know live. If you care about Ben at all, you better subscribe to the channel right now and then smash that bell, baby, so you get notifications. If you don't, the watch the, the watch rate, the, the watch time, the click through rate is going to go down and Ben is going to be homeless, okay? If you're if you're a half decent person, you will subscribe to the channel right now, click that bell, like this video and leave a reply about, you know, what you think we should do next, right Ben? That's right. <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks. Justin. Thanks, dude. Talk to you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Later. Bye.